guys, what's up? It's your boy Pokemon 12, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us talking about these new WWE Supercard Twitch drops that are going to be happening. So without further ado, I suggest we get right into the video. The Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Right then guys, welcome back to the video and as you guys can see on screen right now, WWE Supercard Twitch drops are going to be happening. The first one goes live tonight, 9pm German time or European time, 8pm UK time, live on Twitch with King Kitten during his stream. Shout out to Deej, he deserves this. But with this, I also want to quickly run down what it's going to be and how it will work and how you guys can get rewards and how it could also possibly be a bad thing in the future. But hear me out on that one. So, how it will work, obviously, July 27th, which is today. 12 p.m. Pacific time, which is like I said, 9 p.m. for us in mainland Europe, 8 p.m. for you guys in the UK. And it will be done and tested as a trial on King Kitten Stream tonight live on Twitch. So yeah, basically what, what happens is it's basically done based on watch time. So however long you will be watching the stream, you don't necessarily have to be active. You just have to have it on, okay? So what you guys can do is open up a tab and then legit right click up here and mute site. You can do that because you guys are still active in the stream or just watching so you guys can do that if you want to just have it on in the background and accumulate your time like that but also want to talk about is how you guys can earn rewards so with 15 minutes of watch time you guys will get 50 credits and 500 super coins which is quite good i mean obviously super coins are wanted a lot in the game the credits could have been a bit higher though but it is what it is we all know super guard are stingy when it comes to credits then 30 minutes of watch time will equal 25 draft picks 90 minutes two pump up support cards 120 which is two hours moxie and might pack which i'm thinking is like a superstar pack i'm not 100 percent sure because obviously it'll be in co uh, cooperation with, with the stacy keebler quest that will be going live tonight in supercard and then with three hours of watch time you guys will guarantee a women's division superstar card of your tier so that means if you're forged you'll get a female superstar of forge if you're 37 you'll get a 37 superstar Royal rumble 21 Royal rumble 21 uh, female superstar and so on so that's basically that obviously they're testing it three times the first one will be tonight like i said 9 p.m the next one will be tomorrow at again 9 p.m and then the one, uh, the next one will be on Friday, and that again is 9 p.m. So obviously, make sure you guys go over to DJ's Twitch. I'll leave the link to it in the description down below. So make sure you guys check the description box and go over to him. If you guys don't follow him already, make sure you do. He's an awesome guy. But with this being said, I also want to come down to where I think this could be a negative thing. Obviously, please do not take this out of context. I'm saying it based on my opinion. And obviously, you guys can think, oh, I'm jealous of this opportunity, blah, blah, blah. But no, the reason I'm saying what I'm going to be saying is because I think it's feasible, it's fair enough, and you guys hopefully will understand where I'm coming from with this. But what I'm going to say is, so back in the day in Supercard, before Supercard was huge, obviously your boy JB, Super Zombie God Barbecue, you guys definitely know him. He used to stream it on Twitch when it what, didn't even have its own category. But uh, yeah, from there on, he, it just kind of grew. And obviously the company start, started like shouting him out on their Twitter, getting people to go over to his streams and send some support. Obviously that's awesome, but it took him from, from, from like 5, 10, 15 viewers all the way up to 200 to, to then like the 2,000, 3,000 range. Whereas at the start, I didn't have a problem with it. But then you can become a bit big headed. Okay, you guys will think, oh, I'm, I'm literally sending this off to JB. That's not what I'm trying to do right, right now. And obviously it also t uh, made it a dynamic where every time there was something big in the game, i.e. new cards for new tiers or new fusions, they would only give JB the basically the rights to show it on his stream and no one else. And I'm scared that it's going to become another situation like this. No offense to King Kitten, like I said, I watch his streams. He's an awesome guy. You guys know I raid him as well. So you guys know I, I have no problems with him. But... With this being said, I want to just say, I hope the game, another game, sorry. I hope that Cat Daddy and Tuga Games show some love to us other streamers, aka Big Jim Gene, who's been killing it, One Henry, Godlack as well. Big shout out to Godlack. Demonic, who else? Destin, um, DK, myself. I don't really want to put myself in it because that could seem a bit biased, but yeah, myself. And a lot of a lot of you you other guys who stream the game from from like hours upon end and just don't get the recognition you guys deserve. Like obviously us NCE members, if you guys don't know what NCE is, it's a new create era created by Big Jim Gene and J Meister. It's basically like a big Twitch family when it comes to Supercard who and um, we try and support each other and help each other out with like raids and stuff and help each other grow that way but yeah I, I just feel like a lot of a lot more people should be given the rights to these drops I can remember when Valorant was didn't even get released at this point and you only had like people like Summit, Safaric and a couple of others who had the rights to for these drops and then what happened was if you managed to get the drop from the game or from one of their streams sorry you automatically had the had the drop rights for your stream so I managed I was watching Safaric and that's how I got to know Safaric 
uh, stream and I watch her, I've been watching her ever since. She's an awesome, awesome streamer. Shout out to her. So I got the, uh, the Valorant key from, from watching her stream. I redeemed it and I was streaming it and as soon as I was streaming it, all of a sudden you had five, six, seven other people in my stream. Obviously, I didn't have that many viewers as I do nowadays back then. But then you had five, six, seven other people from my stream getting the code or the key to be able to use it for themselves. And with that being said, I would like this to be a thing as well. Let this be a test. Let them test it for one, two, maybe three days on his stream. If it goes down the tree, awesome. But then also spread the love across us also, uh, other streamers as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. I don't know if you guys can make this happen that Cat Daddy at least sees this. I'd appreciate if you guys could, if this could just blow up. Because I would want to, I'd love to have a word with the creators buying Supercard um, and just tell them what I think. Obviously, if everyone's entitled to their own opinion. You guys, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. This is important. Please comment down below on what you guys think because I think this is a matter of them boosting again one person who they see always has minimum 50 viewers, which is not a problem. He's a Twitch partner as well. Shout out, like I said, he's earned it. But like I said, after the test, if it goes down well, at least let for the second month, smaller Supercard streamers that don't get the 50 viewers, 60 viewers, at least also get, give other people the chance of getting these drops who watch them actively. I know for my streams, I have people subscribe to me, Brayman, Nighthawk. They would love it if they could just watch my stream and just get the drops as well. Because I, because I, I don't know if you can ask them and they'd probably say my streams are entertaining. But yeah, I'm just saying like, if they could spread it about a bit, it'd make it a lot more enjoyable for the whole community and it would grow the game even more. But yeah, that's basically my two cents on it. If you guys have liked this video, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think on this matter. And I'll see you guys tonight on stream. Peace.